Hello, everybody. Uh, Provost Minister, I'm delighted to be here this evening. And uh, let me start by telling you a little bit about my own personal research odyssey. So I graduated from Trinity um, and uh, in mathematics and computing. And I worked as a software engineer in Germany in the chemical production industry for four years before returning back to Ireland, where I did my PhD in computer graphics. And um, that journey then took me on through uh, lectureship, professorship in, in Trinity. I became professor of visual computing in 2010. And also some new adventures. So I spent a year um, in Seoul National University in South Korea, working in the Movement Research Lab there. And uh, onto my current position, where I've been working for the past two years with Disney, uh, researching the science behind the magic in Disney. And uh, I, I will, however, be returning to Ireland uh, next year. I hope to bring some pixie dust back with me. And uh, I'm really looking forward to returning to Trinity to continue uh, my research there. So. Uh, as a professor um, of visual computing, my goal is to create rich visual virtual experiences for people. And not just to make them look good and entertain them, but also to have a, a deeper function such as to educate, to entertain, as well as to engage people um, and maybe even make a change to their quality of life in different types of interventions. And I'll link in with some of the researches of my, of my colleagues here in a moment. Um, so this goal, however, it, it involves not only technical challenges, uh, such as mathematics and physics and, and data analysis and computing, which my background has equipped me well for, but the, one of the most important things is to keep in mind that the end user of visual computing applications is a person, is a human. So the real key is to understand the human brain, to understand human vision, and that is one of the, 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 the main elements of my research over the past years. And in the words of the Irish author Elizabeth Bowen, no object is a mystery. The mystery is your eye. And I think that sums up very nicely what uh, visual computing is about, is that, okay, you can, you can understand the objects, you can simulate them, you can use all the technical challenges, but you really need to understand the human and the human visual system. So, during this research journey of mine, I have uh, ventured across the borders of many different disciplines, neuroscience, biomechanics, uh, medicine, social sciences, even the arts, um, in order to learn uh, more about uh, this field and also to try and develop new creative technologies that will appeal to a wide range of diverse uh, end users. Okay, so let me give you a few examples of my research. So I started off looking at the physics of collisions, so physical simulations, mainly from the point of view of computer games. And this is an area of great research strength in Trinity because our group, the graphics visualization group in Trinity, uh, gave rise to a company called Havoc that uh, two of, our, two of our, our professors at the time, Stephen Collins and Hugh Reynolds, set up. And it has now become one of the main, uh, most important uh, suppliers of middleware for in, in the games and the movie industries. Um, so that was a wonderful start for me. I always started off having a, a very synergistic feel, uh, uh, view of research and having practical applications. Um, the second example is I moved on from looking at collision detection, not only the physics and the computing, but also how do people perceive, you know, like two objects colliding off each other, a rock fall coming down the side of a mountain, cars crashing in a game or whatever. Uh, and I moved on to something much more complex, um, a crowd simulation and human simulation. And here you see a screenshot from our Metropolis system, which has become a very good test bed for uh, exploring issues on human behaviors, how humans are perceived, and, and other interactive experiences. And then finally, one of my most recent areas of research is to understand human motion and the realism of human motion. And as, as Luke was talking about earlier, the uncanny valley are trying to, uh, to, to avoid generating uh, realistic humans that are not very, uh, that are a little bit zombie-like or crazy. And this is obviously something that in the entertainment industry is very important. You don't want to put people off, you want to engage them and entertain them, okay? So, uh, for example, I've done a lot of work, and this is stuff I was doing in Seoul as well, on human motion capture and trying to understand what makes people rec recognizable, what makes them attractive or appealing, what, what, what features of motion are most important to convey different types of emotion or different types of personality. So um, 
all of these research uh, 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 questions have led me to, to, to work very closely with colleagues in neuroscience and visual perception across Trinity. And um, Trinity is a great place to do that because we have world-class researchers in neuroscience. We have world-class re uh, researchers in, in so many different fields that it's, and, and, and as uh, previous speakers said, it's the place where, where the boundaries really are very, very fuzzy. Um, there's a lot of collaboration. There's a lot of support for collaboration. So basically, what this research has led us to do was to innovate and to de devise new research and technological solutions for in creative technologies. So one example um, is a project called Verve. It was a European project that I was a coordinator on. And what we did was we, we got a group of, of researchers from across Europe together to develop graphics and VR technologies and serious games to help uh, work as an intervention in the treatment of conditions such as Alzheimer's, um, Parkinson's, and uh, uh, fear of falling in older people, and we'll be hearing more about the longitudinal uh, study um, in, in, uh, in, in one of our, our speakers this evening as well. And what we actually did was that our research enabled an intervention to be developed in these areas that actually helped to improve freezing of gait in Parkinson's. It helped to improve memory recall and uh, um, uh, the lack of uh, a reduction in apathy in Alzheimer's uh, patients. So it's, uh, it's, it's a wonderful, f it's, it's, that's why I call this um, visual computing for entertainment and beyond, because in 20 years time, the, the world is going to change. We're going to have an aging population who are used to visual computing and VR and technology, and they're going to expect the world to be, uh, uh, to be much more technically advanced, and so therefore there's a big opportunity for fields that really were just within the, the realm of gaming and nerds and computer science, for those technologies to, to broaden out and be applied in, in, in a much more ubiquitous way. And as I said, Trinity is a great place to do this. Ireland is also a wonderful uh, environment to do this kind of innovative and cross-disciplinary cross, uh, research. There is great government support for research um, in these areas. Um, the, 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 creative the creative industries are, are, are booming, animation, gaming, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a place where it's a great place to be a researcher, and I am really looking forward to, be, to being the prodigal professor and returning back in January, and thank you, Provost, for having me back, and thank you all for listening to me this evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.